According to the 2000 population census, women represent 53.4% of Ghana's population. It is a known fact that their contribution towards Ghana's development is enormous. That was the first time I hit the bottle on his head. Oh, you your pa! I to him. I called him, but I didn't get to him. I didn't get I'm In many societies, women's rights to equality, freedom and dignity are violated in the name of culture. Rarely does a day pass in Ghana without the media carrying horrifying stories of various forms of violence on women and children. Domestic violence Domestic violence is about power and powerlessness. It is any act of violence committed within the domestic setting. And a domestic relationship is defined simply as a relationship through um, for example, romantic links. So a marriage situation would give rise to a domestic relationship. Or people in a courtship. Whether it is current, either it's existing or it is over. Somebody with whom you have a child, uh, but you may not be necessarily married to. Co-tenants living in the same house. Blood relationship. House help, master relationship. Domestic violence. It's also shaking responsibility. Something that everybody knows about, but nobody talks about. You know, things that make you feel so bad and so humiliated that sometimes you don't even feel like a human being. And that can be physical. And here is where you get um, issues such as incest. Beating. You have rape, defilement. Or even knowingly spreading HIV. There's also economic abuse or violence. That is where you prevent one per another person with whom you have a domestic relationship from earning an income. And then depriving that spouse of the necessaries of life. He has stopped all my friends from seeing me. It's called social, social abuse. Do you believe it? There are men who have the chance to go wherever they want to go, but they tell their women, you can't move. You isolate. Um, the other partner, you know, from having friends and uh, having a social life. He met me at Glens. I can show you my hands. There are marks on my hands. He scraped my hands on the wall and he even dragged me on the street. You deliberately wait until there are people around and you, you know, put them down, humiliate them before others. We have women in Ghana actors who have not dropped out of acting. Talented, you know, acting is a gift from God. Their husbands are telling them you can't go, but they move about doing whatever they feel like doing. You know, in a, in a sense, alienating you from society. Basically, any behavior which harms or may harm another person, which endangers the safety or health of the other person, or detracts from that person's well-being as a human being. Irrespective of their sex, within a domestic relationship will be determined by the court to constitute an act which forms domestic violence. Marriage is something most Ghanaians hold on to dearly. 
On such occasions, love, happiness, joy, and good wishes fills the hearts and minds of the new couples and the two families present. The priority now is to have lovely children who will grow up to become responsible, law-abiding citizens. Spares behind their feet. The future's characteristics that looking at it, oh, this is poetry. However, traditional beliefs such as men's superiority over women, bride price, and cultural practices like polygamy, among others, have contributed to the low perception of women by men. For these reasons, women are subjected to various forms of maltreatment in the home, which nonetheless is expected to be the safest place to enjoy love, peace, and protection. As the adage goes, when two elephants fight, it's the innocent grass that suffers. Occasionally, some men become victims of domestic violence. Oh. Ni 
agbona me nwo mi tomo nuni o ka nle no niji ni mba chele mba ta se ni chele ta se ku se ka se ko no oni ka se ku eni nwe nu ta se ni ni pele yin ake ka bo yin be e che hin ko ni ni ngele yuwo ko ni enu e ga ma ba se ngele no ku tomo na ka no opo ni je ka je tu emi ni ke no ni gba nto ma o papa be bo di mo no ko bi ake ka mba ye ni e gbe nu ami nwo mi nu wo fu anu wo bo nu gidi 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 meje aku chu emi mba na wa bo wo pota mo ke da bi ke ba mun se ke ba pete se o ke kote ke ba nwa mi mbi ene ni agbo wo fe wo ya no be ni ya ko no ya ko ni ke da de ni wo ke chi o banku ni ke ba ke ba nwa ni de de ni de ni nwa ni nyen pa mi ni ke ba ta o ke chu na ja ke ni bi fe na atale ni bo ni nwe na nu ni atale ye na nu e chela atale ye fe be be ni ke mi ngbla si e e bi yo ni ミンビニ ona se be mate agbene ikeke nu ye nle ye ko nle ye na me yo wo nye bi ani le bi ni ba bi e be ni be hin fu in bi la ke mini sane e wi ni ke ya dokita ni ti ni ti ni hu e ba ko bi e wo ni ni pe ni nle ye mo ka si pon ni wo nle ake nwe edin ni lo ejuru ndele so it's like we've been fighting in the house every week we have to fight so people whom we are living with they are fed up with us and if he's even beating me nobody comes to part and he can one day kill me domestic violence is about power and the abuse of power if i live with you as my grandfather or grandmother and you've gotten to that place where you can barely talk or do something for yourself or you forget things easily and i see myself as the strong one i am healthy i go up and down and suddenly you begin to irritate me what is it you do not have power to compel me to do certain things i now have power over you and so i decide when you eat i decide when you talk I decide when I shout at you if you are asking me for paracetamol. It is a situation of power and powerlessness. It's just the the patriarchal system that we have. If I believe that I'm the man of the house, I am the head of the home. I'm the master of all I survey. If my wife says A and I say B and she doesn't understand and she says C D E F, I have a right to slap her because she is my wife. I married her. When I close from work, I have to come home straight or go and wait for him wherever he is. But when he goes out, he switches his phone off a whole lot and it's like, I don't know, I don't even know what to say again. Um, this is more partly religious and partly uh, hormonal. You see, God first created man. <laughs> you see, before taking some part of his body to complement. Uh, 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 Eve, the woman. So uh, most of the teachings that we know, most religions will give women as the weaker part, and uh, you know, the weaker part of the of the, of the two sexes. And also, you know, there are certain hormones in men that make them more aggressive than women, to some extent. And the body builds, even though women can equally be strong. Um, usually men, uh, in many ways, look stronger uh, than women. And this is something that has been imparted onto us from our childhood through our parents to make men feel superior. Children who witness domestic violence are almost like children who have been abused. I mean, there's very little difference between the two. One, you have a situation in which within a domestic setting, there is child abuse. 
sometimes you hear fathers or mothers beat their children so much that you almost think they want to kill them. That is child abuse. But there is also the situation where maybe the parents don't even beat their children or harass them or anything. But because there is violence occurring between their parents, the effects are so debilitating on the children that it is almost as if they are abused children. He is putting words into his mouth. Like uh, Monday, I saw my son and I asked him, oh, Hello, it's been a long time. Why? My daddy said that if I go, the police will catch me. I don't see the reason why he should tell my son that. He's my son. Even if we are no more, there is no need for him to put words in his mouth. It is wrong. Now, if we want the best for our children, we don't even try to draw them into our fights in the first place. Yes, um, if you abuse a child, really, it's true. Uh, you actually um, playing or toying with the child's future. Because whatever happens to the child at an earlier age, if nothing is done, there's no proper intervention, will carry through his, life, his or her lifetime. The experiences that the child may have as, uh, in the childhood, if there are no counter effects for them to experience things, di different things, for them to know that yes, uh, probably in certain situations this can be done, uh, they will generalize. You know, I've had children who have had problems in childhood who are decided not to uh, relate to any, any, any person of the opposite sex. You have homosexuals and lesbians happening, and some of these things you can trace to experiences in childhood. he told the boy, like even if you go ask the boy where he has been taking the boy, the boy will show you how the girl's gate is black, the dog wanted to catch the boy and daddy. A whole lot. This is not his first time. He's been cheating on me always. When I catch him and I say I don't want the relationship, you this mother should come and stand in bed for the son and I ask my brother. I've disgraced my whole family because of this boy. Now nobody stands behind me because when like this Waju case, he'll come and beg me and then I'll withdraw the case and then he'll do the same thing again. Then you the mother, you are standing there saying I dumped my child at the age of six months. By the time I went to the neighbor, well, me, and, me and her went there. Uh, from here, when we Take all our investigations and things we take to Osu. That one is an abandoned. I have about, if I say 20 cry, it's more. Thousand witnesses. Sister begged everyone to beg me that I shouldn't get rid of that baby. That time he used to give me 5,000 a day. And to cost abortion was about 80,000 or 100,000. Give me 5,000, I can save that 5,000 and do what I wanted to do. He used to cook from his house and then he would bring the food to me to eat so that I can save money and get rid of Elliot. I had no choice. I had to give birth to Elliot. And I gave birth to him. And even when Elliot was seven months, he was going out with a London girl, an 18 year old London girl. Whilst I was living in their house, the mother was there, the girl would come there, they would sit down, they would chat whilst I would be breastfeeding my baby, washing my baby things and stuff like that. I mean, it's bad. I was, I can show you some of my pictures. I was like an AIDS patient. After all, when the girl left to London, he saw that he knew that I was his wife or his baby's mother or whatever. He came back begging me. He met me at Glens. I can show you my hands. There are marks on my hands. He scraped my hands on the wall and he even dragged me on the street. That was the first time I hit the bottle on his head, and then we went, we went to Waju. That was in November, I think two years ago, that we were supposed to go to court. He came back begging me, this lame, that I shouldn't take the issue to court. So the day we were supposed to go to court, he said I shouldn't come, and I made the case a foolish case. So all my aunties, my relatives, the police people, everybody who were behind me, I disgraced them. Even when I went to Waju this time around, they said I shouldn't come and waste their um, what, stationery. 
but I, I think they have time for me. But if I don't take this case issue, I shouldn't step foot there again. That's why I'm standing firm. Elliot wasn't a mistake. He told me, I told him that I don't want a baby because he was traveling. And he did not travel because he wanted a baby. And we were together living in my house. So I had a baby and he cheated on me. And after all, he beat me up. I went to Waju and I disgraced everybody. And now we are back. It's the same thing. He, it's what he's been doing all the time. And I don't want, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I uh, three months, three months. Onukwa keke, ko be no e no I'm not angry. I, I haven't been to court before. And as I said previously, I want to stand in the docket. I don't know what it's about. I want to go to court this time around. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to go to court. <laughs> In the uh, criminal code, domestic violence comes out, battery and assault, and all the ramifications, the different types of sexual, apart from the sexual ones, it's very difficult for the police, the law enforcement agencies to deal with it, because they tell you, oh, well, our hands are tied, there's nothing we can do about it. But this bill is a comprehensive set of legislation that will enable uh, victims who go through this kind of um, suffering to have some form of protection which we do not have now. We are in this country. We read the newspapers. We see the reports of women, acid being poured on women, women being beaten, killed, maimed by their spouses and people they're in amorous relationships with, children being abused left, right, and center. We hear the incidents of rape. Isn't it about time? We collectively took a stand against this kind of behavior. When you take the incidents and the prevalence of domestic violence, it does appear by statistics that if you take 100 cases of domestic violence, over 90% are committed against women and girls. And you'd also find that a large majority of the perpetrators of domestic violence are male. That is an unfortunate fact. Women form over 50% of our population. If we are serious about development in this country, we are talking about sustainable development. We cannot do it without dealing with domestic violence. It's impossible. 
we want to raise awareness about this serious issue and we want to galvanize the government so they start to address this issue. And that is why advocates are asking that the domestic violence bill be passed as quickly as possible because this is, this is a, a problem that has been plaguing this nation for years, domestic violence, and it's actually eating into the very core of our society, that is the, the family. We are asking that government should pass this bill which seeks to protect the family, which seeks to um, address the issue of domestic violence holistically and provide the needed protection that victims need. Like every bill in this country, it is gender neutral. It protects women, men and children. Unless you are an abuser, unless you are a perpetrator, there is no need for you to be afraid of this bill at all. Are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? I didn't start this way. You don't care anymore. You are always beating me. No one seems to be listening to me. Somebody help me. Can anyone hear me? I'm afraid. I'm scared. Love is all that we need. Love. Peace is all that we need. Love is all that we need.